Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. We're here at Cars and Coffee South Lake. Uh, it's a pretty good turnout. I haven't been here in a while. It's been like, what is it? Three months? It's a Corvette. But the turnout's actually a lot better than I thought it would be. We have a bunch of Subies, we have a bunch of Caddies, and a bunch of BMWs. We have some interesting supercars. We should go check those out. We're gonna go check out the supercars. We got the GT3 RS, GT3. I think it's a Carrera, I'm not entirely sure. We have a GTS and then a matte black GT2 RS. It looks really good. GTR squad here. I like the red on this 17 GTR. Oh, look at that Gremlin GTR showed up. Speaking of which, perfect timing. That, I love the color on this car. We saw in the last video I was talking about, this is it. Well, we saw a red one, but it had uh, carbon fiber stripes. But this is the one of the stripes I was talking about, the white livery. Also, you guys also remember that yellow Courier GT that we saw? This is the same owner. We got a Huracan Evo. I don't know if it's this Lamborghini Dallas or not, but I love like a satin silver on it. Also, it's got uh, blue brake calibers, which look really good. Yeah, look at this. It's got like a little ducktail thing. Looks really good. And it has the uh, SVJ or Performante style exhaust. All right, it's a Toyota Supra. Didn't expect to see this here. What color is that? Oh, it's so small. It's so much more different than it is. In real, obviously, but that's weird. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I do not like the new Toyota Supra. I don't like what Toyota's doing. I don't think that this deserves to be called a Supra. It has some Supra aspects, but it's not really... It's not an old Supra. We actually have some old Supras right there. We go take a look at those, but it doesn't look like a Supra. It doesn't have a Jay-Z engine. It's specifically, it's it's a BMW Z4. It's even German engineering. It, it's even built in Germany. So I don't think it deserves to be called a Supra, to be honest, guys. You can disagree with me all you want, but that's my opinion. Here, here's the old Supra. Here's the Mark IV Supra. That's the Mark V. Where is it? There it is. That's the Mark V. This is the Mark IV. I like this a heck of a lot more. I don't, it's just grown on me a lot. It's still grown on me. That's grown on me. I didn't like it when it first came out. I still kind of like it. It's grown on me. But you know, after seeing it in person, it's all right. But look at this. Obviously it's been modified and there's a big turbo right there. But still, you guys know who this is. This is Steven's car. It's Cars and Coffee South Lake's car. Look at it. You guys like the rims on that? Let me know. Do you like the rims or not? That is the only thing modified on this car except for suspension. And so yeah, the suspension and the rims are the only thing that's modified. Everything else is stock. However, I do like that. The blacked out Audi logo. That looks really good. You have a um, matte, the matte carbon fiber side plate. Looks really good. It's a V8. It's a gated, okay look. Gated manual V8. It looks so amazing. Guys, check out this SVJ. The color on this thing is insane. What is it like? The Verde Mantis? It looks so good. It's one of Montana plates right now. It's got carbon fiber all over. I love the black. I apologize for the music. It's really loud. But still, it looks so good. Let's see if we get another angle of it. Here we go. Look at that. It looks really good. I love the black rims and the gold brake, the uh, green brake calipers. It's got shark fins all over the sides. It looks so good. That one over there, that's the same color as this with the white stripes. However, this doesn't have the heritage livery. That looks awesome. This is a weird car. This is an origin. I don't know what it is. It's a handmade car. The seats are like fastened into the car. It has no windshield. Wow. He got a new wing, by the way. We'll see what he does. Okay, this is a uh, matte black. Aventador SV. Look at that. I love the white SV logo right here. It looks really good. Matte for the uh, dry carbon spoiler. Oh, it looks so amazing. It's drawn quite a crowd. We're gonna have to do it really quick because of the music, but look at it. It's got like a white SV logo and a dry carbon. It's got a V12 with 750 horsepower, I think. Yeah. And then we got the 4GT Heritage right here. 
Yeah, it's got a V6 Eco Boost. Hey, questions. First question is why. Second question is how. Okay, so it works like a Hot Wheels car. You just gotta pull it down and then open it. All right, I understand. This is a 2019, 2020 Camaro. I'm gonna be honest with you. I really don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I like the Supra more than this. But it just doesn't look good. Look at that. That looks so much more aggressive than this. Mustangs, I don't feel safe anymore. He okay, I was literally standing like right here and he shot a huge flame. This is about a year ago when it happened. It hurt. I had burned eyes after that. Here we go, Huracan Performante. Finally we got a perf in the, in the group. Look at that, I love the uh mat on it. it looks really good. Also, got a golf livery uh Aston Martin Vantage. This is a 2019, 2018 Vantage. It looks really good. I love the baby blue on it. That looks really good. I really like that thing. I know is that it has gold wing doors and it's right hand drive this is definitely Japanese or Korean I'm not entirely sure the uh what is it set in matte 720 that looks really good it's like the uh SV over there looks super cool I really like this thing crap it's a new Supra okay that joke's probably overused now but you know how that goes it is for sale by the way look at it it looks like the new Supra. Then we got Gremlin GTR here. I love how it has all the, like, the smoked taillights and all the black parts on it. It looks really good. And the black top, I really like this thing. Okay, so you guys saw the matte black SV right there, like way over there. Look at this, matte black GT2 RS. We got a Huracan. Yeah, that guy's pretty cool. But yeah, we have a matte black GT2 RS. I don't know where all these matte black cars are coming from, especially ones like this, but you know, it's really cool. It's got a flat six, I think it's a twin turbo, but it looks really good. I have an RX-7 right here. I like this thing too. It looks really good. Oh, it's imported too. It has it's right hand drive. It's got a big wang. It's not carbon fiber though, but oh my gosh. 
All right, we have to do the comparison. This is the best tail. All right, that's huge. There was a green SUJ here, and it morphed into a uh, blue A12. He left. He did. It must have left. Look at that. Look at the interior. It's, it's, it's brown. That's interesting. Oh yeah, by the way, there's a pista right there. It's black and it has blue stripes. Look, it's a pista up here. striping on that looks really good. Look at the star wheels. That looks amazing. Yeah, it's a pair to, it's the first pair to that I've seen. Looks really good. Gotta know that's a V10. 507 horsepower right there. Go watch my review on that thing. That's such an awesome guy, an awesome car. spinning the entire way. seconds. He didn't entirely do it though. Oh, it sounds so bad. I dislike the Supra so much. I 
Whistler. Rev it. <laughs> Oh, look at this thing, guys. Wide body. Oh, my goodness. He knows he's got too much time. Definitely don't feel safe right now. Attention to those R8s right there. That is all R8s, Audi R8s. Alright, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, what the heck? Why is there things here? However. What's this for? Switch it around. It's stuff that happened over there. I don't know what, but you know how that goes. That's an old Focus RS. <laughs> he stalled it. Everybody else is headed out. I think it's time for us to head too. So, why? All right. So there's that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you need to do to uh, follow me on YouTube, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya.